But the strange thing, Brother Musa, is when we don't remember Allah at all, a day passes, two days pass, three days pass, and we haven't even thought of Allah, we haven't spent a moment with Allah, but we've spent hours on end at work and doing so and so, whatever else we're doing without remembering Allah. That's what's scary. I think every one of us today, this reminder should make us from those who put back Allah into the equation. Put him back. Even if it's you're driving, subhanallah, alhamdulillah, mashallah, tabarakallah, la ilaha illallah, subhanallah, bihamdi, subhanallah, al-azim. That's a powerful remembrance of Allah. And that's the topic today. Powerful remembrance of Allah. Say these words, learn their meanings because they will, they will be more powerful when you know the meaning of what you're saying. People ask me, you know, I'm feeling sad. What should I read? I say, read Surah Al-Duha, but don't read it without reading its meaning as well. If you read Surah Al-Duha, Wal-Duha, Wal-Layli, Ida, Saja, many of us know exactly what that Surah is, but we don't know its meaning. You say, Wal-Duha, they'll say, Wal-Layli, Ida, Saja, straight away, even the kids. Ma wadda'aka rabbuka wa ma qalad. You know what that means? Your Lord has not forsaken you, nor is he upset with you. Nor is he angered with you. Many of us feel Allah is upset with us. Perhaps he's angry with us. Perhaps we've done something. If whatever has happened has drawn you slightly closer to Allah, it's not the anger of Allah. It's the pleasure of Allah. It's the gift of Allah upon you. So inshallah, we can increase that remembrance of Allah upon all conditions and everything we do. Don't let anyone discourage you. You know, some people also say that, you know, I feel so discouraged because I feel like I'm very far from the mercy of Allah. And when I sit and talk to them, a lot of the times it's someone who's outwardly more pious having said something that makes them very, very negative. You know, if I'm already in hell, what's the point of doing any goodness? Who says you're already in hell? The people who said that, they've got to be there to have seen who's in hell. You get that? If someone says you're in hell, well, that means they, they're there already watching who's there and who's not. You know, it's like a guy says, I saw you in the nightclub. Well, how did you see me? You were there, right? Exactly. So how did you see these guys in hell? So stop saying that. Stop discouraging people. Inshallah, we, we all would like the, the pleasure of Allah. May Allah make it easy for us. Barakallah.